Hi friends, welcome to Adda 24-7. We are in the scholar series for BFM. Here we are covering the important theory, numericals, objective questions and case studies. So watch the series till the end and also watch the complete series, all the videos, okay, at the same time every day. Let's start. First one, let's start with the objective questions. What risk arises from the lack of trading liquidity? Trading liquidity, what do you mean by this term trading liquidity? Trading liquidity means for trading I don't have the funds. I might be having huge amount but for trading I don't have the funds. Means what? Imagine if I keep all the funds of mine in FD. Complete all the funds in FD. That also that FD is on maturity, nothing in between. So is it of any use? How will I do my daily expenses? Okay. Or second case, in trading liquidity means I need to have daily funds. So similarly banks also. So imagine a bank investing all its funds, understand this, whatever I am telling you. Imagine a bank investing all its funds, all, in what? In let's say 10 years bonds. 10 year bonds. What do you mean by 10 year bonds? 10 year bonds mean the maturity you will be getting, the money you will be getting after 10 years. So, in between if you uh, um, it's fee, uh, require the money, you won't be having anything. You will say, how can this happen? But this has happened. In 2022, you saw one bank in USA collapse. That was called as SVB Bank. If you don't know, don't know about this kindly google it svb bank silicon valley bank the bank why did it fail do you know because of this trading liquidity it invested all its funds which it had from the savings and current account it invested those funds in long term bonds of 30 years because of that it didn't have any money for day to day trading okay and because of that it faced a huge problem it ha and it collapsed. Such is the severity of trading liquidity. So which risk arises from the lack of trading liquidity? Funding liquidity risk, asset liquidity risk, liquidation risk and market liquidity risk. So which risk arises from this? Yeah, think over it. Think. Yes. I'll wait for your answer. Almost, let's say, 10 seconds more. Just now I gave you the example. What happened to SVB Bank? It went into, what is it called as? When the bank collapses, when the bank fails, it is called the bank has gone into funding liquidity, asset liquidity, liquidation or market liquidity. What is it called as? Type in the comment section, everyone. It is called as? Yes, let me see how, how many of you are typing and what are you typing, you guys. It is called as liquidation risk. Liquidation means bankruptcy. So this bank had faced the bankruptcy. Similarly, all the banks might face the bankruptcy if they don't follow the asset management mis uh, li uh, this matching concept. Okay. That's why RBI has come up strictly to provide, to avoid this trading liquidity. RBI has follow, uh, tells the bank to follow what? Gap system or bucket system. Gap or you call it bucket. Bucket. Right? That's why we have this uh, the team called as Alco in our bank. Alco team does the same job. Right? Got it everyone? Clear? A particular corporate security has been facing the lack of trading liquidity. This is called as funding liquidity risk, asset liquidity risk, asset liquidation risk and market liquidation risk. Now think over this. Now we are talking specifically of a typical corporate uh, entity. Okay, so it is facing a lack of trading liquidity. So. Right now it is facing this tra 
trading liquidity so the answer will be funding liquidity asset liquidity asset liquidation and market liquidation <coughs> excuse me and it's called as think 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 answer generally in, in the exams what you feel as a first answer everyone feel please pay attention in exam whatever you feel as a first answer is generally the answer whatever you feel see as a first answer now many amongst you over here felt that the answer is asset liquidation risk because just now we saw that liquidation part in the first question but some of you thought that how can the answer be so obvious first liquidation now again asset liquidation there will be something different so you thought of something asset liquidity you try, try to tick on this a b or d but remember generally in exam whatever you feel as a first answer after reading the question that is generally the correct answer okay so the answer is asset liquidation risk again we are foc uh, focusing on liquidation only I have taken two questions on liquidation right now. Why? Because both the questions were on liquidation. Because this is the major risk faced by the banks. I gave you that example of SVB Bank, Silicon Valley Bank, right? Similarly, there was another bank failure in the same year, 2022 only. There was one more bank which had failed. That was called as biggest. That is called as Credit Suisse. Credit Suisse, right? It was a Switzerland bank, and then it was purchased by UBS. It was purchased by UBS, right? Even UBS is facing the problem now. If you see UBS right now, if you check the UBS situation, they are also facing some problems. So forget it. That's not our concern. Our concern is Credit Suisse was purchased by UBS because of this again, this liquidity issue. Okay. The general liquidity crunch in the in the market, and it, there is a general liquidity crunch in the market, and it is affecting the trading liquidity adversely. It is called as. See, the questions are similar. You might feel that the answers are also similar. Right? There is a general liquidity crunch in the market, and it is affecting the trading liquidity. Now, see here, liquidity crunch in the market. Means overall market there is a liquidity crunch. When did this thing happen? Liquidity crunch in the market during the COVID time. Remember, in COVID time there was the uh, there was a huge fall in the overall investment culture, and it led to liquidity ad uh, li trading liquidity adversely. Of course, India didn't suffer that because in India during the COVID time, if you see. The stock markets rose like anything. They were up, 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 up. Only in the first wave, means first date of March 20, right? The COVID of the COVID, the stock markets fell. Otherwise, they only went up. But that was only in India. It was not the case in other countries. So coming back to our question, there's a general liquidity crunch in the market, and it is affecting the trading liquidity adversely. Means because of this crunch in the market, I am not getting the funds for trading. So this is called as what? Funding liquidity risk, asset liquidity risk, asset liquidation risk and market liquidation risk. So what is it called as? Eighth one. Yeah. Now think over it. See here. It's a crunch in the market, overall market. Now, when you see the word market over here, what should strike your mind? I know you have, you all of you are in a fix right now. Fix means in the geopardy we call it. Or we call it this or that, this or that. Many of you are in the problem of A or D. Funding liquidity risk or market liquidation risk. Is the answer for between these? Yes. See here again. Go to the obvious answer. What is the obvious answer? The obvious answer is what is given in the question market word. So same market word will be used over here. Market liquidation risk. Okay. Market liquidation risk. 
so this there is a general liquidity crunch in the market and it is affecting the trading liquidity adversely so it is called as market liquidation risk okay got it clear next one the credit risk of the of traded debt securities such as bonds debentures and commercial papers is indicated by so the credit risk of the traded debt securities traded what do you mean by traded those debt securities which are tradable in the market okay what do you mean by tradable see there are two types of market one is primary market and second is secondary market what is primary market when i purchase the bonds from that company let's say simple word ipo whenever i purchase the shares or bonds from the company itself so let's say reliance okay reliance is selling the shares or bonds let's say let's call it bonds today okay reliance is selling the bonds and i purchase the bonds me i buy the bonds from reliance so this is known as primary market i brought it directly from reliance now if i sell this bonds to somebody else like let's say you i sell the bond to you then this is called as secondary market so whenever you purchase you are not purchasing from reliance you are purchasing from me now where is the relation of this concept primary and secondary market to traded debt securities it means there is a relation the relation is traded means what it should be tradable in the secondary market anything which is tradable means if you are ready to buy the bonds from me only then it makes sense for me to buy an ipo if the bonds are not being purchased by anyone other than me then will i be able to sell them to others will i be able to earn the profit that is called as traded debt securities which are tradable in the market such as bonds debentures commercial papers is indicated by the earnings from these securities the face value of these securities the credit rating of these securities and all of the above think over it yeah how do you decide whether this bond from reliance will be purchased means i how do you means how will i decide suppose if i am going to purchase it how will i decide whether somebody will buy this bonds if i uh, means the reliance bonds which i purchased will somebody buy from me how will i decide so i'll decide this based on what the earnings from the securities earning means what earnings what do you mean by earnings the returns which i get but there are many bonds in the market which give you high return but these are very scrap bonds you see any z company z group stock or t group stocks Okay, they they give you returns of around one thousand percent, right? In one month. But do you trade in them? No. Why? Because what is the credit worthiness of those companies? Same thing is over here. The earnings of the securities is not a criteria. The face value of the securities. Face value means what? What do you mean by this word face value? Face value you had this term in the bonds, right? Face value means that. Uh, the amount which you get which is written on that paper which you get on the maturity so that is also not important the important part over here is credit rating credit rating of the securities is of the utmost importance utmost if the credit rating is good only then others will buy the bonds suppose if i sell you the bond of kingfisher airlines kingfisher You you know this Kingfisher Vijay Mallya's company bankrupt. Suppose if I sell you the bond of Kingfisher Airlines, will you buy it from me? No. Although it might give you thousand times returns, but you will not buy it. Okay, so that uh, it's all the credit ratings. When the rating of a financial instrument is lowered by a rating agency, the spread over the risk-free rate. What does it happen? increases decreases remains constant there is no relationship means what do you mean by this suppose if the rating is lowered means what if i am having a bond which is triple a now let's say the bond is reduced from triple a to let's say triple b means lowered 
triple A to triple B, what will happen? Rating reduced. So what will happen? All of us, suppose if you are going to buy this bond, you will think this triple A has gone to triple B means there is some problem in that company. So if that there is a problem in that company, what will happen to the spreads? Spreads means the difference. The difference, okay? Difference between the funds which are received and funds which are given, okay? So incoming and outgoing funds, that is a spread, right? Difference between them. So what happens to that? It increases as the market demand uh, de uh, demands higher yield on higher risk instruments. Decreases as the market expects lower yield on the higher uh, risk instruments. Remains constant, no change, nothing will happen to this. And there is no relationship. Very, very, very important question. You guys must, must, must follow this and must be able to think over it. So, what is the answer now? Think. The answer is A, increases. Many of you have written this decreases, but it increases. Why increases? Because as the rating goes down, people will be defending, uh, de uh, means demanding higher rate of interest. Means let's say if the company was giving 4% rate of interest, 5% earlier. Now it has gone down. So you only, if you, you, you think of yourself, you are investing in this bond or this FD or this share, anything, which is giving you 5% returns. Now it has gone down to triple B. So rating is reduced. So what will it tell the company? No, no, no. I'll buy this only if you give me 7% returns. Because I'm taking higher risk now. Why? Because you guys have been downgraded from triple A to triple B. So you have been, you, you are just downgraded. You have gone down. So now to compensate for this downgrading, you pay me higher rate of interest. So this it increases, spread increases because the incoming funds will increase. Earlier they were coming at 5%, now they are coming at 7%. Okay, so that is the answer. The process of market risk management has the following parts. One, risk identification, risk measurement, risk monitoring and control, risk mitigation and risk pricing. So the process of market risk management has the following parts. What parts does it have? Market risk management. What are the parts? 1 to 5 all. Risk identification, measurement. See here, risk management we are talking of. Management. Identify, measure, monitor and control, mitigate and pricing. Ideally, what, what do you think should it have? What do you think? All of them, 1 to 5 all. I am seeing the answer 1 to 5 all. Again, you have fallen in the trap. Why trap? Because you haven't studied this concept very clearly. See this important part, risk management. Management means identify the risk, measure the risk, monitor the risk and mitigate the risk. Pricing is not the part of risk management. Pricing is different. So the answer is 1 to 4 all, not 1 to 5. Risk pricing is separate. Risk pricing is done not by you. It is done by the buyer. What the logic? See here, risk pricing will be done by the buyer, not by that company. Suppose, let's say, you are buying a, uh, means an instrument, a share, which is, let's say, again, come back to some... Uh, Bankrupt company, let's say Kingfisher Airlines. If you are buying the share of Kingfisher Airlines, then Kingfisher Airlines will say, no, 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 we are very safe. It's up to you to decide whether you should buy that share or not. And for that, you do the risk pricing. So risk pricing is a different concept than risk management. It is This is done by the buyer and this is done by the seller. Okay, so the answer is B, 1 to 4 only. Got it? It is 1 to 4 only. Next one. The market risk management policy formulated by the board of directors of a bank generally takes into account number 1. Market risk management policies, market risk management procedures, aggregate risk limits, risk review mechanism, reporting and auditing systems. So what does it take into account? 
yes market risk management policies procedures aggregate risk limits review mechanism and auditing systems what do you think yeah here the answer is a 1 to 5 all okay all of them because bo whenever board of directors formulate a policy whenever they have to take into account the lowest level person how will that person work how will that lowest per level person react to the policies okay how will that person uh, try to uh, avoid his work using this policy all these things it has to take into account so it will take into account all the five elements okay risk management policies procedures aggregate risk limits review mechanism and auditing systems which one of the following is not the part of the role of asset liability committee alco which one of the following is not the part so alco here in market risk management always remember alco focuses on generally market risk alco there are three committees one is alco second is crmc third is ormc alco uh, looks at market management market risk crmc credit risk ormc operations risk so which of the following is not the part of alco Produ product pricing of deposits and loans setting guidelines for the market risk management and reporting funding policy and transfer pricing and balance sheet management which is not the answer not yes product pricing of deposit and advances that is a part of alco because product pricing means what asset liability management that is the main job of alco so a is this a i'll write this true over here whatever is true i'll write true we want a false one not okay second one i'll focus on c funding policy and transfer pricing so this is also true transfer pricing means this is a separate topic altogether transfer pricing means the rate at which you uh, sell your bonds or sell your assets to your internal company internal department means if retail banking is having the loans of housing loans of let's say 1000 crore so those housing loans are sold to the treasury of the same bank treasury of the same bank and the pricing decided for that is known as transfer pricing okay there's a big topic on this I, someday i'll explain you in details giving various examples okay i'll give you one more example in this suppose if your branch is uh, transferring the computers let's say now let's take one minute your branch branch x okay your branch is having computers branch x okay is transferring the computers computers to branch y branch y so both are the same branch same bank branches so you should give it for free but do you give it for free no what do you do you you charge them some basic price basic so that your branch profitability now look at this i'm talking of branch profitability not bank profitability because when you transfer the computers your asset is gone and this asset is received by this bank this branch so your asset profitability your asset is gone so your branch profitability will be affected so you charge the basic price minimum price we call it and this minimum price is called as transfer price so that is the job of alco not computers here i am giving you the example of computers the example is of loans of bonds all these okay balance sheet management that is the job of alco this is not the job of alco setting guidelines for the market risk and reporting reporting is a compliance part okay setting guidelines for market risk management guidelines are not set by this alco team guidelines are set by the board of directors and rmcb got it clear before going kindly join the victory batch all the numericals objective questions case studies covered all the comp compulsory subjects cover you can join the maha mahapack 2.0 as well in mahapack you are getting multiple batches how to join this let me show you go to adda 24 7 i'll always suggest you to go through the app 
in the app you get 1% extra using the coin systems okay so go to adda 24/7 then just click on this jib and cib click on jib and cib done click on cib may 24 see this now you will see this victory batch okay click on this victory batch all the numericals objective questions case studies covered you will see the details over here ebooks are there test series online live classes expert faculties interactive classes recorded videos and limited size batches everything is there and click on buy now put the code y432 y432 click on apply look at it 79% off you are getting if you go through the app you are getting 1% extra so 80% off So join it immediately. Also, you can join the Mahapack. In Mahapack, right now you are getting double validity. Okay, let me show you. See this. You are getting double validity. Double validity. Click on this. Double validity means you are getting you buy for six months, you get it for twelve months. Also, eighty percent off. Yes, this seventy nine plus one. Just now I showed you this. Buy now. Buy four three two. Never forget this code. Buy four three two. Okay. Seventy-nine percent off. Plus, if you go through the app, you get one percent extra. So join.